Nice look inside. Oh, and a block in, in it today. Oh, what a crossover by Morton. Drives and scores. Shows for Twitty. Ran to Twitty, stepping through, score the basket. And back the other way, driving and scoring. Five seconds. In a double team. Lost the ball again. And a hell ball at the buzzer. And will go to double overtime. Back outside Felizor. They're trying to. They still steal. Brandon Twitty driving and scoring. Almost double dribbled now. Pull up jumper is off the mark for Roland. In the corner, out of the corner, thrown in with a half second left. They throw it up, tipped up. Ah! Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Foul didn't get it, Lane drives, got it to the wing, a three ball is off the mark, and the ball is loose. Three seconds, two, Morton for the win! It, it feels so long ago, um, just when we played, and it was, you know, that the triple overtime game against New Haven. Um, obviously, I know many people said, and we, we had just one of the top any 10 games, maybe in the history, a lot of people thought. And heading from that game to the NCAA tournament to have gotten canceled, they're just like everyone across the country and the world. And here we are now, we're getting ready to tip it off. Um, it's really, really exciting and uh, anxious and the nerves and the jitters just to get ready to play again. But um, it, it's it, it's crazy to think it was almost, you know, a year and over a year and a half ago. That game in itself was crazy. Um, I haven't gone back and watched it because I can't get myself to do that. But that team was, was so special. And, um, you know, we were so tight knit as a group and um, just the memories you got to share, and we won so many games. And to get a to get an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament um, was obviously just a testament to how good that team was, and uh, just all that work we we put in over the course of the year. And then obviously, you know, we get to that hotel and we're there for 30 minutes, and everybody gets the notification that you know COVID shut everything down. That was tough for us, um, but we all got to enjoy it together. And um, the memories I think we all made that year, I say, you know, we'll remember for a lifetime. I mean, the last time we played, it was a great year. Uh, the team was amazing, and then the New Haven game going on that um, was one of the greatest games I've ever been a part of. And I think if you were there, uh, it was one of the greatest games anyone's really been a part of uh, to watch. Uh, and that game just meant a lot to us, and we were really fighting. Um, it sucks that at the end of the day we didn't get what we wanted to, which is a win. Um, but it was something we can grow off of. Yeah, the the COVID year w was interesting um, from a development standpoint and a training standpoint. And we came into the season just like everyone else, just thinking we were playing, hoping we were playing, and, and trying to get prepared for the season. And found out early on that you know that wasn't going to be the case. So um, it was just a lot of practice, and we our philosophy in mind was let's just let these kids have some fun you know right off the bat they everyone was in quarantine for so long and no one was able to, to play and, and just enjoy playing your sport and playing basketball for our guys so we we really just tried to put some smiles on their face and just let them let them play let them have some fun and and then try to really acclimate you know our young guys and some newer faces whether they're transfers or just new guys to our program that have not played in a still in a uniform or in the any 10 um, to things that we do and um, trying to you know get them up to speed, which was hard. Last year was a, it was a real challenge, you know, to to try to get everyone moving forward together. Um, but I thought our guys did a great job, and our new guys got a little bit of a taste, um, just to the level and and some of the the talent that we have in our program. Obviously, there were so many question marks at the beginning, um, but we prepared like we would always do. Uh, went through our preseason, um, regular schedule, regular routine, and we we fully expected to play. We fully expected to have a season and. Uh, when we got the news that we weren't going to play, obviously that was very tough for all of us, um, especially a lot of the older guys who, um, you know, we had, what, one, two, three, four guys who knew that that was going to be their last season. So that was really tough news for, for a lot of us. Um, but once that happened and we knew, you know, we were going to be done, we knew we still had to, you know, go to work and, and practice and get better every day because we knew that we were going to have a following season the next year. So it was just... Uh, you know, grind as much as we can, see how good we can get individually, how good can we get as a team, um, and just already just plan and take steps for that next season. 
You know, it, it's certainly great to receive votes and uh, to be ranked where we are. We're, we're definitely appreciative. Um, and I have, have, haven't been around this league for a long time with how good, you know, the coaches are and the programs and the team. So um, we're very appreciative to, to be placed where we are. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of high expectations ourselves, and as a coaching staff and our players to um, to try to be amongst those top tier teams every single year um, in the league and also in the region. And we, we, we definitely tell our guys and we, we, we certainly let them know how good they need to be day in and day out in practice to prepare for the season um, because of how good the NE10 is. Um, I think the biggest thing is for us, we've talked a lot about consistency. Uh, you know, how good can we be every day in practice? You know, how much time can you put in outside of practice? Um, because to win a championship and to honestly just win games in the NE10, being the number one conference in the country that it is, you have to be great every day. You have to be consistent every day. You have to put in the work every day because if you don't, it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter where you're ranked, third, fifth, seventh, number one. Any team can be anybody on any given night. So for us, it's just focus on got to put the work in and then, you know, hope that when we do, if we do it the right way, you know, we'll, we'll win at the end of the day. And building a winning culture, uh, just having those dudes and having young guys is a little different uh, just because, you know, the sophomores now haven't really got to be able to play in a real college game besides the three scrimmages that we've played. So just trying to teach them, trying to have them uh, grow as players and grow as people uh, by watching the older guys and watching the coaches, um, just figuring things out slowly to build for this year. Uh, and our expectations are to win. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. Uh, and every day we're going every game, every day, uh, trying to win, trying to compete to win. And that's our end goal. At the end of the day, man, I when I decided to come back for uh, for my fifth year, I really just wanted to win a championship. We were so close with that team from two years ago um, that it left just kind of a better taste in my mouth. There's so many guys who I wanted to play with again for one more year. So personally for me, I mean, I really just, I'm, I'm here to win. I'm trying to win. I want to win a championship. Everybody wants to put a ring on their finger. Um, and so for me to be able to come back and have a have a chance to do it with a great group of guys and a great group of players for me it was kind of a no-brainer um yeah i'm looking forward to the whole year just taking a taking a year off is the first time in my life uh and i'm sure it's for a lot of guys and, and girls uh just having that year off is just it's a lot to mentally uh try to comprehend and understand so i'm kind of just looking forward to being back onto the court you know it's it's something i love to do it's something that i think my entire life revolves around uh, and I just can't wait to compete every day and have that uh, competition factor. And that's kind of what we go back to with our guys. And you, you remove all of the outside stuff and we just try to focus internally with what we do day in and day out to try to get better and try to prepare um, for that night in and night out season. You know, and regardless, we're, we're really excited to be playing and um, to be placed where we are, we're, we're excited to play. It's, it's been too long. It's been a long, long like, time to just wait and wait and wait. And here we are, we're getting to tip this thing off Friday night and, and see, uh, see how we do.